Hello and welcome to my weekly horoscope for week commencing the 25th of April. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to give you the key details to look out for, but then go on to give you each of the 12 zodiac signs in detail. So please stay with me for them. Now, of course, this week sees a stunning black moon, a solar eclipse in the sign of Taurus on Saturday, the second new moon of this month the first occurred on the first but this one links in a sextile with mars the planet of drive of instant gratification and over the next six months i think this gives us a lot of impulse to really grapple with these new financial realities that we've been given in recent times and try to find the best way through them now mercury the planet of communication goes into shadow in the sign of Taurus on Tuesday. So there may be quite a lot of rethinking that goes on. Perhaps we are going to see changes and changes come in quite frequently. Later this week on Friday, Mercury moves into its home zone of Gemini or one of its two home zones, but it will rewind back into Taurus in time. So. We need to continue to think with as much dexterity and ingenuity as we can muster. Not least because, of course, we have Uranus in the sign of Taurus as well, which is the sign of which is the planet of truth. And it's asking us to be more honest about our consumptions, perhaps of those, uh, uh, you know, those traditional fuels that we've become very dependent on and just try to find more ways to flex around how we make food, how we eat food, how we consume energy, the way that we use any money we do have as effectively as possible. But Jupiter does continue a very positive link with Pluto this week. Again, you know, if we can uh, use our uh, senses, our instincts, which comes very much from the sign of Pisces, it's going to be a good thing. But also in the second half of this week, a quite glorious alliance between Venus and uh, Jupiter takes place. Venus is known as the lesser benefit, Jupiter the greater. They come together in an exact alliance where Venus is exalted and Jupiter the traditional ruler of Pisces. This can be really lucky for some people. I think uh, a case of uh, some karma coming to pass, some deserved karma, particularly if you've been someone who's been very supportive or helpful to people in the past. It may be your turn to be the recipient of other people's kindnesses and goodwill. But Friday also sees Pluto go into a retrograde, which will last through to the 8th of October. Pluto in Capricorn is very much about traditional power, but because Pluto is going to be moving for two and a half months in 23 into Aquarius, and then into the sign of Aquarius for a longer period of time in 24, we're going to see some of those old power structures really being eroded. Perhaps some of the uh, power that's been imposed in a negative way at the moment will make way. Let's all hope that might be the case. But please stay with me for your zodiac forecast. But if you would like to ascend above uh, this information and grapple with more serious astrology, give me three pieces of your personal information of time, date and place of birth and I will give you a roadmap that you can steer your whole life with future forwards. This is with my special offer which has 30% off with a character analysis and a 12 month forecast. Gain searing insights to guide your moves but also unlock your true potential. Please see the link beneath this video. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd be honored if you would subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. And if you'd like to get your free written daily horoscope fired to your device each morning, please see also the link below. Hello Leo and welcome to your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 25th of April. Now, on Tuesday, Mars powers its way from your seventh house of relating into the eighth house of where we're truly invested. The eighth house, of course, can be very 
transformational, it's a very scorpionic energy and Mars of course is the traditional ruler of Scorpio. So even though the host planet is Pisces, the fact that you have Venus and Jupiter coming together in a glorious conjunction along with Neptune for part of this week, the financial part of your situation looks very positive and it could be linked to a new opportunity in terms of your work because your 10th house, how you connect to the wider world, is really empowered hugely by the solar eclipse which occurs on Saturday. Because Mercury just nips into, on Friday, the sector in your chart of connections to others and friendships, it could be a case of who as much as what you know when it comes to some kind of introduction or networking skills that you have. But your desire to raise your profile and improve your financial situation is really going to intensify over the next half year. So these are glorious opportunities to grapple with. It is true that Pluto goes retrograde on Friday. Pluto, the tiniest planet on the edge of our immediate solar system, for you is in your sector of everyday organisation. But Pluto is about changes and maybe some of these changes that you're uh, planning now or going to execute over the next half year are going to require some kind of reorganization in terms of your everyday routines. That in itself could be a little bit challenging. We don't necessarily get everything we want in a linear fashion. Sometimes we get a lot of what we need but there may be some disruption along the way and that's the type of way we should look about life rather than hoping for it to be a series of perfect solutions because then we just end up being very disappointed. But generally speaking, whether it's in terms of business, entrepreneurship, financial partnerships or investments, despite all the challenges that are going on in the world at the moment in terms of managing our resources and the cost of energy increases that we're all experiencing, this is a an, a chart of real enterprise and possibility, not just for this week, but as I say, for the next six months too. Mm -hmm.